Hi, welcome to my channel Do Irrational. I am Pranesh Sharma and in this video, we will talk about how we will solve questions of generalized linear model, Bayesian statistics, credibility theory in MS Word for our examination CS1 paper A. Let's take this question from GLM. In this question, we have to figure out the maximum likelihood estimate for model 1, model 2, model 3 as well as complete model. So it's just a basic Poisson distribution question. You can write the likelihood without using equation editor or with using equation editor. Now one thing is that you can use uh, proportional to sign for uh, inside our equation editor proportional to sign is here you can see now if you are writing your equations without equation editor also you can use proportional to just press control sorry uh, press alter uh, plus you'll get your equation and just here you can see top here you have your proportional sign you can just put proportional to and you do not you do not have to write the constants especially in Bayesian statistics we use proportional to sign so you can even if you are not using equation editor for other things you can use equation editor just to make this proportional to sign as well here we have our log likelihood now again we, we use lambda a lot in this particular question so I copied lambda and always with every equation I was pasting lambda if you are not using uh, equation editor, you can specify lambda. Here I have specified lambda as m and used m every single time. I did not use l because every time we have l, l and also in log we have l. So it just becomes too many l's. Then writing differentiation becomes a little bit easier. But you do not need to write this differentiation symbol. You can just write differentiate with respect to m or with respect to lambda. Okay, And just write your answer final m hat 1 m hat 2 and m hat 3 can be calculated similarly for model 2 you can directly write m hat okay so i have used equation editor i have used without equation editor also solve these questions then for uh, comparing we we calculated the scale deviance okay difference in scale deviance and difference in degree of freedom and then done our chi-square test. So again for just the writing this chi-square value I have used equation editor. You can skip. You can just write chi sq okay. or even in chi-square uh, even in uh, equation editor it's not very difficult. It's just backslash chi space and then you can put square as we would in a regular term and then under root if you want to write a complex thing like 5 percent comma 2 use brackets and then press space we get chi square 5 percent for 2 degree of freedom for a question of Bayesian statistic and credibility theory we require a lot of equations whenever we want to make now whenever we want to make our likelihood prior and posterior distributions so it's better if you use equation editor especially we have product we have sum or you can use without equation editor also you can see here it's not very different it's almost the same okay. writing uh, credibility form credibility factor form would also be easier if we write it using equation editor so just visually it is better if we use equation editor now one thing you should do whenever you are solving your sum as well as whenever you start writing your answers is go to file, go to option here and in option in proofing, okay this proofing, go down and you should click these two buttons that is your hide spelling error in documents only and hide grammar errors in this document only. Because if it is not selected, I will show you, if it is not selected, it will show so many errors and stuff it becomes you know visually especially if you are trying to figure out if there is a problem it becomes difficult to read our equations so go to file go to options and in proofing go down and select 
hide spelling errors in this document, hide grammar errors in this document. Even while you are writing your answers in the examination, you should do this because then it becomes easier for us to follow what's going on. If you like this video, please like, share and subscribe and do check out other videos on my channel. See you in the next one.